Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Alternative Cycling Network, where we give you unfiltered and unsponsored hot takes on the bike industry. And the topic for today is gravel specific. What is it? Do we need it? And in honor of that, I'm wearing my very gravel specific uh, shirt here, which whoa, has whoa, massive whoa there, Russ. Pockets, whoa there, Russ. <laughs> massive pockets for for the gram. And if you're a bike vlogger, massive pockets for cameras. And today I'm joined again with my host, Michael from Locked In and Eric <laughs> from Spinderella. Do you change channel names? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> cool. So the topic Eventually. for today is uh, gravel specific. But before we do that, let's do channel updates. Um, who wants to go first here? Let me bring up your respective channels since, since we can do that on the show. Uh, let's start with Eric. Production you value. queued up here. So, okay. So what's happened? What happened on your oh. channel this week? <laughs> See, this happens every week. Uh, okay. Uh, Do you want me to zoom in? You can. No. You can, just, just en enhance. Just a enhance. Um, oh, wow. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, so I built, uh, I've got a friend of mine's uh, bike that I'm doing another 26 inch drop bar conversion on. Um, I think it's going to be turn out cooler than, uh, than what my rock hopper did. Um, and then I've been, I've been riding my motorcycle with my BMX on the seat, man, the <laughs> amount of people who are like, this looks so dangerous. I'm like, yeah, it is, um, nice. but it worked and out. One thing, I will, one thing I will point out is I've sub officially subscribed to Eric's channel today. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently when we were prepping for the show, I hadn't subscribed yet. So <laughs> yeah, I hate that vlog <laughs> content. You know? I just, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> all right oh, so man. mike mike what's been going on on your channel here uh so i did a basically just a trial fit if i can fit like the biggest tires i've ever run on my uh cobalt warhawk which was a uh a 2.2 front and rear 650 um that was just like an experiment they they like advertise that frame at a 2.1 and then obviously you can see the previous video i, I tested the 2.0 wtb rangers on the frame saw how much clearance i had and was like ah, i can do more than that uh, yeah. so that's, that's what just been experimenting. Um, I got a couple cool new videos coming out with some reviews of, uh, some Kai venture bags and my, uh, I'm working on my review for my Cobalt Warhawk. Cool. Did you, how, how's it, did you get a chance to ride with the, the really big ass tires? Yeah. Yet? It's great. Love it. Yeah. It's, cool. it's a lot to do with the, the tire and the casing and the tread profile, which I kind of discussed in that video. If anyone watches it or wants to go watch it. Um, I asked, like, what do people think the appropriate big tire is for a gravel bike? Yeah. And to me, the 2.2 that I have on there is kind of the sweet spot because it's not overtly heavy unless you get some, like, ridiculous ultra endurance casing. Like, my S I I'm running now S-Works Fast Tracks, which are a cross-country tire front and rear. They're 550 mm -hmm. grams a piece, which is what a 650 by 47 typically weighs. But with mm -hmm. like, I think it's a 50, 53 is what it equates to something like that. So it, it, it feels just as lively, but you get more cushion. Um, right. So I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Um, there's a few bikes now that I think in this new crop of bikes that are going to start going what I'm calling monster gravel in my series. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to become a thing because you're really going to start differentiating a bike that can clear a, a 47 to something that's like a 2.0 or above. Yeah. 50, 50 is a new 40. You've heard it here. Cool. Well, on uh, my channel, we had a busy week. I did a studio tour. So, you know, giving a, a, a sneak peek behind all the technology and all that stuff that I use to, to run the live streams I do. Um, speaking of which, if you haven't, I've got actually a, a channel focused on just video stuff. It's called Let's Make Internets. It's a little bit lonely there. So if you feel like subscribing, <laughs> please do. And in addition to that, uh, I reviewed some very spendy breaks, the Paul Clampers. And that video did pretty well. Lots of people either really love it and think it's the best, or a lot of people think it's like the biggest waste of money. Yeah, we're like um, pissed. Like, oh, God, <laughs> why? Yeah. I mean, it, you guys this, find this it, guy and all his, it's all your YouTube money. That's what it is. They're just like, right. oh, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's really hard to talk about 
expensive components or, or bikes in general sometimes because people get really irate, you know, it's, yep. it's either yeah. it, it's too much or they just don't see the value in it. Yeah. I, I mean, there's, there's times where like, I, I'll talk to somebody who will say, you know, oh, this bike's so expensive. They're trying to buy a complete bike and it's like three to $500. I'm like, yeah. my, my, like pick any part on my bike. It's probably worth that much. One, yeah. pick my seat <laughs> on my road bike. It is worth almost as much as your bike or more. Like that's, yeah. it's tough. I mean, it, it, it's a different demographic, but those Paul components in general, they're, I believe in like his like engineering ethos and like what he's, how he's designing it and everything else. So it makes sense. And small batch handmade CNC in America, like, Right. You, you got to pay to play. Like you got to, you know, you're paying for that. And that's the thing is like, at the end of the day, that's what, that's really what it boils down to. I think. Yeah. A lot of people were, you know, I, the comments varied, but I, if I were to group them, it would be, I can't believe it costs, you know, that much for a break. I can't believe it costs that much for a break with a single piston. And right. you know, yeah. I, I, I don't understand why you would go, why you wouldn't go hydraulic. And the thing is like, if you look at like, it's made in the U S like find another break yeah. made in the U S that doesn't mm -hmm. cost a lot. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. 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 I, I mean, I agree. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, that's, uh, that's it for channel, uh, reviews. We are doing something, uh, a new feature that we added last week and it is viewer bikes. So this is where we ask you guys to submit your rides and we go and talk about them. Uh, so since the last so call, much there, were, there were a ton, a yeah. ton of uh, uh, bikes. I think over 70 came in through the Instagram. And last week we did, last week we went overboard and, and, and talked about 10 bikes and it took about half an hour. So <laughs> <laughs> raining it in a little yeah. this week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're talking about three. So this is from uh, at 26 ain't dead yet. It's a 1990 <laughs> bridge style <Love> MB1. <laughs> Drop bar conversion, Dior XC cranks from the rear, mech seat posts, XTR rear mech, LX hubs, Dior Canties, Gravel Kings, and all goodies all around. So this is a pretty cool conversion. No, so I hate it. I hate you it. hate it? <laughs> I thought this would be... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love this so much, obviously. <laughs> this is like, this is <laughs> amazing. Yeah. This is... <laughs> I, yeah, I have a soft spot for Bridgestones. I wish I had the, my picture queued up right now. I had a, a Bridgestone RB1 road bike, which was like their top tier steel bike, Olympic quadruple butted tubing. It was amazing. I did like a retro mod with it with like, and so this just makes me miss it that much more because <laughs> I've been looking for this bike literally because of Eric and because of your rock hopper. Like I was yeah. like, no, I need to get a Bridgestone because like it's yeah. just weird. And this, the fact that this speaks to me a lot, like his water bottle color scheme matches like <laughs> some of the highlights. So, and like the, I, I can't, if, Russ, if you enhance the pedals, I can't tell if that's right. grass or like the, the green. Looks the green. Okay. Really? Well, it, it looked like, almost like, it almost looked like a toe cage. I was like, I swear to God, if his toe cages match like his <laughs> bottle tops, I'll lose it. But no, this is like awesome. I love everything about this. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. And you the rack the, and the like, yeah. Love about this is uh, not tan wall. Like ah, yeah. Tan wall, but the like, tan tape. Uh, yeah, the tan, tan tape. tape. But like not tan wall, like not going down that road. I I mean, obviously, I obviously I love this. I love 26 inch conversions and I'm going to for the next like <laughs> four or five years until I find something else to like inject my <laughs> veins with money wise. But um I mean, this is this is tastefully done too, though, because it's not uh, yeah, it's not all crazy modern stuff like the quill stem stayed. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. I imagine those are like a quality quality like uh, Nito bar mm -hmm. put on the, there. The the, like, yeah. the bar and the stem look like Nito because it's super tall. It's a taurine stem. Yeah, looks like yeah. yeah. And uh, what is the like? What is the group set? Is it? I think he's it's a uh, Dior XT cranks yeah, and X Bar rear mech. Okay, so, so. it's a Shimano. Shifter, yeah. where in the world did you get? He's got bar, he's got bar, bar and shifters. I wish I, the only uh, thing I could say, only thing, if he could match either the hoods or the tape to the seat, that'd be yeah, it. Because, like, even like, even whatever's on the rack almost matches. So, like, yeah. that would be yeah. only, and I'm nitpicking at the, at this <laughs> hard because everything else is great. 
That's flirting with a completed bike, though, and I don't know that I can get on board with that. Yeah. <laughs> so Eric, Eric doesn't believe in that, yeah. How, how, what's the availability of 26-inch wheels and tires? Is it pretty scarce out there? Or? Uh, wheels, so it'd be hard to find, like, a, a complete wheel, I would say. Like, anything that I'd be interested in. Like, I think you could probably still get, you could still get, like, a single wall, like, replacement very easily. Um, but like, if you're actually going to do something that you're like, oh, I want to put this on like my, like my thought for, for my rock hopper is like, I want to do maybe a set of like 26 inch velocity cliffhangers, uh, laced to, you know, whatever, like whatever hub, mm -hmm. it'll be some sort of quality, uh, 135 spaced, uh, rear hub. And then you can yeah. do like the world is your oyster for the front. You can do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, nothing like wheel wise is tough. Um, but I haven't done a lot of research because I'm not ready. Is and, there much, uh, like, are there many like tubeless, tubeless 26 inch rims? I would say any, mm. any 26 inch rim that you could get now, uh, would be tubeless compatible. Cause they would just be yeah. like a 26 inch version of some sort of 27 and a half or, right. uh, 700 rim. Yeah, there my biggest few, the biggest yeah. problem is is they're all rim brake. Like all these conversions are all rim brake. So it's like, like you, you're not going to go to stands. You're not going to go to stands no tubes and get a, a rim from them because you're not going to be able to. All right. So yeah, like right. you need you're trying to find like it. Yeah. You need yeah you need to stick with. I think uh, like H plus Sun probably would have a 26 inch rim uh, velocity and maybe like Pacenti maybe. Uh, Th those would be like the, the companies that I would immediately go to and be like, okay, what do I have to look at? Um, and then I would just kind of like go to this YouTube channel that I've been working on for the last little bit and maybe ask uh, some people like, a, like if they know of anything and then I would probably buy one of the recommendations. Yeah, cool. Well, let's talk about the next bike. This is from DK Cycles and it's a little bit more modern bike, but still I thought it fit thematically. It's a giant tough road, which I, I think looks mm -hmm. extra tough with the tires that are on here. Uh, yeah, SLR, yeah. SLR GX with a mullet wheel set. So 29 front and 27.5 rear. Um, okay. Matreya cranks, oval ring, SLX 10 speed derailleur with a tan pan and 52 centimeter uh, PNW bars paired with a short 70 35, mil, uh, 35 degree stem. Have you guys ever tried a mullet setup on? On kind of a gravel bike. No, nope. I know it's like a thing with mountain bikes. No, I've I've done I've done staggered tire sizes, but on the same wheel size. Yeah, I mean, yeah. No, I've yeah, never be, I've never tried it. Yeah, I'd be curious at um, and how it changes the the geometry. I mean, I feel like you you get more ro rollover with a large with a larger wheel here, mm -hmm. um, but who knows? I so know. I'm kind of going. Yeah, I, I yeah off like memory here. And it was when I was putting the 120 mil uh, fork on my felt from a 100 mil. And I was like, well, how does that change like the head tube angle? And, and the way that the mountain bike guys described it, and this is off memory, is like it was either every 20 mil or one inch. So 25.4 millimeters yeah. would change your head tube angle about a half a degree, mm -hmm. which is less oh, than it. I thought okay. it would be. Yeah, I thought it'd be at least a degree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because, like, when I did put that fork on, I was like, this bike feels the same. <laughs> huh. Um, yeah. So, like... Yeah, I've... I, yeah, that's... You know, maybe maybe some people would notice the difference. I'm not personally picky enough. Uh, like, all my stuff is sort of trashy, so it's like... Eh. <laughs> like I wouldn't know this. I would totally know this. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is interesting. That's the interesting thing between you and me, right? I'm like, well, my yeah. stuff kind of is like whatever. Like <laughs> it still moves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah. I'm, I'm happy with that. As long as the cranks aren't hitting the ground, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I, okay, I, I've run. Yeah, like, that's that's yeah, you, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, okay, this is from Owen Awood. Uh, you'll love this comment. It says, "Hi, I love listening to you three chat. I'm based in the UK, and after finding your channels, I was inspired by Eric and tore my teenage." He's nearly 40. Uh, Raleigh mountain bike apart and rebuilt it as a one by with drops. 1142 Sunrise cassette, SRAM X9 derailleur, and some eBay wheels. Keep up the great work, Owen. 
So this, yeah. you have spawned this this beast here, yeah, Eric. That's, when I seen it come up, I was like, I bet, I bet this is from my channel. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your this is your love. So uh, Eric owes you uh, some child support. Uh, so yeah, so if I'm something breaks, he he uh, he owes you some money. Uh, it's Canadian money, so it's not worth much probably there. But you know, <laughs> do what you can. Do what you can. <laughs> it makes good kindling, though. That's true. Yeah, 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 true. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. 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 Especially in this fireplace I have over here. <laughs> right. So hopefully, you get, hopefully you guys notice a trend. Either some kind of mountain bike drop bar conversion, or just some just interesting mullet bike. I have to say yep. that you know whenever we make a call out for viewer bikes, they're also interesting. Like it was really hard. Like we literally had about seventy people uh, email their bikes, and it was hard to choose on just quality. So I just went for the weird ones. So, <laughs> but I mean, this is not that weird. This is just. This is basically well, something I would build. Now. <laughs> now, now it looks normal. <laughs> the, the, the funny, the, the best part is it's going to be on Eric's channel next week. So it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally going to finish another one that I'm building. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, what am I doing here? Okay. Picture in picture. All right. So what do we have next? Uh, we're moving onwards and upwards to our next uh, little segment here. If I can queue it up, this is all live, and it is the new new. Um, a lot of news this week. Yeah, and a lot of gravel think, gravel specific news. That is true. Do you okay. need that? Though? Do you need gravel specific? Well, but but see, here's the thing: they heard our call out the week before when they knew we like we're like, oh, ASIN's a little light on material, so they just like right. they just threw it all at us. Like you're just like, oh man, we're just gonna pump this out. Yeah. Uh, but before we get to the gravel specific, there is some interesting news and in, in just the general world of cycling to talk about. And one of them is this. I don't know how you guys feel about this. Tour de France goes virtual. So apparently they're still planning to have the event in August. But in lieu of the, the early July start date, they're going to be doing a series of Zwift rides, basically. Um, you know, the pros are going to be there you know, riding on... <laughs> On their uh, very expensive bikes, on on trainers, on very and expensive on, trainers, on very expensive trainers. So I I feel like this kind of takes away from from the excitement of, of bike racing, like all of the kind of random stuff that could happen. I mean, you can't yeah. crash into it. <laughs> True. Well, well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Maybe well, you can. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. The one guy who does, he's gonna fall over on his Wahoo trainer, and he's gonna be like, that's yeah. True. It is gonna all be weird. Part. It, like I, I've never, I've never done a Zwift ride ever, and I don't plan to in the next it, at least twenty four hours, unless someone reaches out and is like, "We'll pay you to ride Zwift." Then yeah, I'll do. It. <laughs> um, but like, it'll just be funny to like watch like a Chris Froome and like I don't know whoever is going to be in it. But like the Virtually you know how the bikes, the bikes are just doing this like, and then they're like. <laughs> touching each other no but they but they also like virtually pass you pass through people sometimes yeah, like, once in a while like that's oh, gonna be the, like how, yeah. how exciting what a yeah. crazy event Woo! is unfolding I mean, maybe, maybe a couple maybe, things can, can we mind. should it's live stream like, that right is <laughs> this feels less like cycling and more just you know watts per kilogram like you know just just physical activity yeah like who's um, the better exerciser yeah, yeah. <laughs> like bike handling don't have to have that anymore you might have a chance like right because because yeah. chris Froome is not known to be the best descender and that's where a lot of people would take time on him but like right. if you can't yeah. crash on the descent then it just becomes uh you know a matter of who has the biggest engine all the time right right so also um, i we like i i admit like i had read part of this article like and if anybody in the the live comments like wants to comment on this how are they verifying your Zwift profile? Because I, I've I've trained a little bit on Zwift, very very little, but you have to <laughs> enter in your body weight and your watts per kilo, which is like if you however many watts you put out versus how many you know pounds you weigh. That's how fast you go in the game. So at me at a you know Schwelt one eighty five, you know or whatever, like I put in like one fifty. I'm going to be a effing hero on this game, like at the same wattage. So I don't know if like Russ, you, you kind of mentioned like, are they going to set up profiles for everybody in like as a organization that you have to log into 
or what, but there's a lot of easy cheating in Zwift. If you really like, mm. even as a novice, I can still go in mm. and modify my body weight and crush <laughs> a Zwift race. Yeah. You know, so like, you that's, know, I, I don't know if any of the events will go down to a sprint, but you'd think like just computer latency would be yeah. a big factor. You know, being able to to react to a move. You know, what yeah. if you know it's like a second behind, and then you know someone goes off, and then you can't catch them, and and, and get in the I, slip slip screen. Yeah, I saw what what's his name, uh, Cameron Jeffrey. He's a Zwift racer. He does a YouTube channel too. Uh, mm-hmm. I think that's his name. I'm terrible at it, but uh, yeah, he Jeffries. he did. Yeah, he did a Zwift race where I think he that literally happened to him. He was like, I'm in, I'm in the sprint, and his Wi-Fi <laughs> dropped out. Oh, and no. then he like did and but I mean he's like, you know, six three, hundred and probably thirty pounds. I don't know, just like elite racer dude. But like he just joined another race after to like finish what he wanted to do in his video. But like, you know, that that was a thing that he even said. There was just like, Yeah, my, my Wi-Fi dropped out in the sprint, was gonna win. There we go. You well, know, that's basically a mechanical. You basically got a flat. Deal with it. True. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the new mechanicals. That's, that's it. A, that's it. The, yeah, Wi-Fi the, is the new flat. Why? Yeah. That's a T-shirt we need. The, that's the new a T-shirt we need. The new Di2 <laughs> Wi-Fi from Shimano. <laughs> yeah. It isn't wireless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it'll be. It'll, it'll be interesting. I'm. I'm. I, I still feel like they're. They're pretty optimistic that. Things will that yeah. they'll have the event in August. <clears throat> I know Man, that if I had that kind of optimism her. on anything I worked on. I think I'd be further in life for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we can still do the Tour de France in August. It's like, yeah, that's next month, and it's like, <laughs> like, yeah, geez, the state's still getting like ten thousand yeah. cases every day. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> And, and Sea Otter just completely canceled. Yeah, and yeah. Well, sea Otter, they came up with some weird like virtual event, which the you know, the like, virtual otter. I I understood that was very early, and I thought that was very like well received in my aspect of like Bike Rumor. I think did it well. They they mm-hmm. requested certain videos. Were the videos good from the companies? No. But they weren't like they're not, you know, they don't have if they don't have a team or somebody who's producing videos for them, it makes yeah. sense. There's a learning but curve. That was videos. yeah, but there's that's like, you know what? I I just wanted to see the new stuff. So if the audio was terrible right. or the video, whatever, it's I wanted to hear about the new stuff that I would have seen there. So I almost like that more. And I think those events make more sense. For me, I signed up for Grinduro. So I'm in like I only did because they offered like a full refund in case it doesn't happen because I didn't want to lose out in hundreds and hundreds of dollars and, you know, time frame and hotels and everything else to get out there. But so if, if they flip the switch and, and said, OK, we're going to do Grand Euro on Zwift, would you do it or would you just be like, eh, no, <laughs> I don't think so. no, I wouldn't. I, I mean, no. I mean, well, 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 you know what? It'd probably be like my last year experience. It it rained. It hailed. <laughs> it was 30, 33 degrees when I started. Uh, so you know what? That might honestly be a better experience. It might, be better. <laughs> it might not be bad. I might finish. Who knows? Right. Yeah. yeah. They just, they'll have to require everyone to camp in their backyard and drink the night True. before. I'll, hey, I'll do it. <laughs> and that's fine. And then I'll just have, I'll have a, a table with a, a six foot subway sandwich that I'll just slowly eat throughout like the 12 hours that I'm riding. Good. Probably, there, you know, there you like, go. <laughs> yeah, so it's fine. Uh, I'd rather do that than parts of the ride that I did last year. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. So next bit of news. Where should we go next? There's so much interesting stuff. What's the next tab? Uh, I w- the next tab oh. is this, which is uh, oh, Shimano. Yeah. Er- Eric's new shoes. Yeah. Eric's new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> the official so, Spindat <laughs> sandals, baby. 2021 <laughs> Spindat branded sandals. You've heard it here first, folks. Oh, man. Those those yellow dots are going to be red. They're going to say spin that. All right. Oh, man. So, apparently, new old stock of these sandals were going for a thousand bucks on eBay. And no. I almost, I almost swore on our live stream there, but uh, <laughs> I, I will say. When we when Laura and I uh, toured across the country, I we actually rode in Keen sandals. They they weren't even the the clipless ones, so I can see the appeal of them. Uh, but they they had at least uh, a toe box, and you know it made right. like, you know, cutting your toe open on your spokes less likely. Although I guess 
right. <laughs> uh, because I'm like, all, all, all I have to say to these for everybody in the chat and watching, I just have to say two words to overlap and oh my God. Like, <laughs> like yeah. I don't like socks are too short. <laughs> <laughs> dad shoes, even... dad bike. I think. That... <laughs> so terrible and speaking of dad bike i will say that those uh these sandals might be the Out official of dad, dad bike dad bike range what look, what is this what ad come on bike of this one <laughs> oh <laughs> there it is this one so common saw typically uh you know known for for mountain bikes getting in into the the dad bike biz into the, yeah they're like geez if we just take away all the suspension and like yeah. All these mountain bikers are going to be dads. Now, do they sell? Do they do they give that. you a free pair of white tennis socks with this bike? It does. Uh, yeah. That's the question is it that does. is that a free giveaway with every purchase? It's in the description. Comes, comes with sandals. Comes with the shoes. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. And it's and it in the down tube they have the the stuffed white you know tennis socks. Yeah. Got it. To wear <laughs> to wear with the sandals. They pull out of the bottom bracket. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna have uh, Sean Gold here. Are, the, are those integrated Shimano socks? <laughs> yeah. They they are indeed integrated. Yeah. It's the system. It's the system. Shimano's yeah. thought this out. Yeah. I yeah. swear to God, if they make some Teflon, not wireless. Again. Uh, <laughs> uh, All right. So what else do we have here? Uh, so kind of touching on on the stated topic is uh, gravel specific gear necessary. Uh, we're gonna start with this one. So Rafa has come out with a whole new line of of sunglasses, and as you can tell, these are the the roadie ones. And then, yeah, yeah, clearly, and these are the the gravel ones. Um, also, what do, we, what do they have going on here? They've got holes mm -hmm. for, yeah, for 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 preventing. Yep. preventing. They've got a, a cool little uh, lanyard here, yep. so as you're riding the the grav grav, they don't vibrate off your head. Yep. Also, the color you're. you're you're hitting the gnar. That's why they're you're worried about them bumping off. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> It's got the. I don't know, what do you think? Like, what does this does this scream gravel specific to you? Is it necessary? It's <sighs> it screams like it screams the same thing that it when I take my phone case and I go. So I put this spin dat sticker on it, and it <laughs> is gravel specific. <laughs> Bro, you know what, dude. That Get is it a sticker in itself. It's just a yeah, sticker that says gravel specific. <laughs> this is gravel specific. The sticker. <laughs> anyway, wait. Uh, 80, 80 bucks. Uh, Spindat.com. <laughs> Shameless plug. It's also this is also sponsored by Squarespace, uh, where Eric sells all the stuff. Uh, and Wix. Yeah. I don't know what happened. And Wix, and it's both. It's either site. I have both. I have both. Uh, Russ, is that is that called gravel brown? Uh yeah, gravel gravy is the. Oh my there. god! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know. But you know what? I, I have to say. No, like, oh, I, I thought you were telling me the truth. Like that was oh, like, I was like, gravel gravy yeah. sounds great. I totally get it. <laughs> no, that's just just my 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 wit. Just oh, yeah. um, gravel gravy, baby. It's better than I, baby heads. I actually dig these ones better. You know, it's got kind of that uh, old school way way wayfarer look. A little bit more. Yeah. Anyway, Picture if you're looking for those, they're on the Spindat door store too. <laughs> <laughs> are those the gravel specific ones? These are, yeah, these are the these, Rafa ones. Well, fact, they will they be put when my, you put. They even yeah. put my name on them. Ooh. <laughs> Damn, Brandio, we can't yeah. we can't say like <laughs> un, un anymore. Yeah, <laughs> these Five. are also available at Walmart. So, <laughs> God. the low nice. hanging fruit is is too easy. And None of this speaks. I, I don't know. I, I tend to agree uh, that with, with, fr with gravel friction gravel. di2 here, gravel specific <laughs> is the industry trying to sell you more stuff you don't need at a higher price. Yeah. Most of the time, yes. Most yeah. of the time, yes. Yeah. That's... I mean, I can. So I can. I'm. I'm like of a of two minds here. Whoa! I got really small. Yeah. I'm, I'm, well, I'm of hey. two minds here in that. I can see where it can feel just like a cheap marketing ploy, mm -hmm. um, in, in which many cases are. But there's also something to be said about, you know, like road cycling has its particular uniform. Mountain biking has its particular uniform. And, you know, why not? If, if people are confused and they want to get into gravel and they don't know where to start, 
you know, at least like a, a general, general, you know, kind of suggestion. Yeah. But it does, it does jump, a sh jump the shark, I think, a little bit with like gravel specific yeah. sunglasses. Yeah, because it, kind of, it half, it half goes against. You know, I almost want to agree, but it goes against that video that I made where, I was, <laughs> where you just want to. <laughs> where, I, well, where I just wore a bunch of different things and I'm like, all of this is fine. Like there's nothing mm -hmm. defined and I hope that it never does get defined because like there's, there's nothing worse than, than like, you know, not being sure what to wear and feeling wrong all the time. And right. Like, right. I, 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 yeah, I totally agree. I think, I think for what's going to happen is like tire wise, I think cross country tires that are small now, that's what I called in my last video is like, 2.0, 2.2 .2 gravel, like cross country tires. That's really small for mountain now to where that's going to probably transition over because the, the crop is getting wider tired. I think uh, gravel attire is essentially like kind of slim fit. It's almost the mountain. race cut of mountain, you know, like there's race cut and roadie. So like I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm a race cut medium large and I'm like a club fit medium, you know, small like it just depends like so i think that's really where everything's going to start shifting and it's getting weird to where they're just trying to rebrand like i want certain tires or certain components or certain whatever just to be rebranded because this is what it really is now you're holding on to it because you don't know what to do with it yet just push it over to a market and i think that would yeah. be what's going to happen i'd say in the next year after everything that's going on right now i think that's really where it's going to shift so here's the question is there anything on the bike that you think could legitimately be gravel specific, you know, something in which, you know, it does actually serve, you know, a, a different purpose on the, on the gravel bike that doesn't make sense on the road bike or mountain bike tires. So tires. Yeah. How about and, a handlebar my, tape? I know, I know Wolf tooth came out with, you know, the supple tape and there's been a couple of iterations yeah. of, yeah. I've, I've been a fan of the physique bar gel with a three mil tape was essentially, I'm assuming close to the wolf tooth five mil. I've been running that for, I don't know, two years. I love it. That plus the, like the red shift components. Um, I don't think the, the red shift seat post, I, I think it makes sense on a hard tail. If someone who's wants like a little bit or the coast, dropper post that thing makes way more sense but that's a new product right. um but i don't have experience with it but it's pretty awesome like <laughs> yeah that's what i'm saying like that that that's something that for me like that is a like the shock stock stem alone is a commuter maybe but a gravel definite yeah i think the the seat post if you don't worry about a dropper and you don't think you're going to need it the redshift makes sense um that could go to a hardtail bike, but besides that, uh, I think those are there. There's some gravel specific like components out there. I think there are few and far between that aren't really like well versed in multiple categories. But I think those are a few. Um, I think the wolf tooth tape just eliminates the worry of because it, it is hard to tape the gel with the tape. Also, mm -hmm. there's some tapes that aren't long enough depending on the bar width. So they're doing a longer tape that is thicker. So it's just convenient to just wrap your bars like you normally would. So mm. that, that yeah. is a, that is fixing a problem potentially. Cause when I wrap my 44 mil bars, I'm going to be talking about in a future video, um, with, with bar gel, even with a longer ish tape, it was like, got to rewrap it a few times to stretch it out a little mm. bit. Get what yeah. you want. Speaking, you know? speaking of that, uh, I mean, flared, like a flared drop. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Certainly, so somewhat gravel specific, but like, you know, mustache bears and other stuff like that have been around for mm -hmm. a lot of time. It just seems like uh, the the flared bars are almost like kind of meeting where <laughs> where those were in the middle. They're like, how about here? I don't know. I'll try. We'll try it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I remember like ten years ago seeing people like like when being a hipster was like a real thing like the amount of mustache <laughs> bars with like oh yeah like, well like lance did that one video with mash sf <laughs> you never saw that one no i don't oh, see no anything. lance okay well okay there's a eric homework after this and everybody else <laughs> uh there's a mash sf video with lance and mash sf went to texas and mm -hmm. he was like 
riding really hard with them during like like all throughout Texas on his fixed gear with mustache bars. Really? Like, wow. But like going ham, like right. just like really like really hard. Right. So er everybody after this, not before, uh, you can watch that later. Yeah. It's, so it's really it's who's standard Jeff Solid. Uh, he, he, so you don't weird. know him, but there was a yellow bracelet that a lot of people wore that they didn't understand what it meant. Uh, okay. and then it didn't, and then it didn't mean anything. Okay. And then that's, 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 yeah, that's who he was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, um yes. Yeah, so oh, j before you say anything, Russ, because you haven't yet weighed in <laughs> on this whatsoever. Um, there is geometry differences. Okay. Um, between like when this all started years ago um, yeah. between a cross bike and a gravel bike, like mm -hmm. absolutely hands down. Um, and, and thank goodness for gravel bikes, allowing cross bikes to stop being <laughs> two things. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now you uh, can make your point. Wasn't <laughs> right. Oh, I was going to just, just uh, echo your comment that like handlebars, I think have, have, metamorphosized into like a specific uh gravel thing which is a lot different than than just like a, a pure road handlebar um and also kind of meshing with like current or with newer um gravel bike design you know mm -hmm. so let's i'm gonna pop back into the um the yes. web here we got, like, <laughs> speaking of gravel we've got one last thing i think we'll talk about and as this new ride far uh, bike, and it's the what is it called? The GMX. It's got this fork, which I don't know why it's not black. Uh, <laughs> but they sell the uh, frame set only, and it's got some pretty good massive clearances. So twenty nine by two and a quarter, um, which is it's, it's pretty generous. And yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? And they have it here with their um Those are black their bars. bars. Yeah. You know what? I don't like suspension corrected forks on like hardtail mountain bikes. Um I just don't. I understand that it makes sense, like like the wild amount of clearance you get. Um, like the bottom bracket is probably correct for like where I ride, where it's very rocky and like your, your pedals are, are very close to the ground all the time. Um, and I'm sure like the standover height makes sense and like being able to have a, a nice like flexi seat post in there makes sense. And they've probably done everything they need to do to make sure that the top tube length is correct for riding with droppers. Uh, but I'm a very vain person. And <laughs> when I see like looking at this not built, I'm like, oh, maybe this would be cool. And then when I <laughs> see it built, like I have a real problem with like really, really, really long um, axle to crown lengths. Mm -hmm. um, like if I had it my way, like every bike, the the tire would almost be rubbing everywhere all the time. Um, That's your picture then, boy in you. That's yeah, picture boy. And like, yeah. and you know, like maybe, you know, mud, mud would just not exist. <laughs> But I also love mud, so it's like, geez, it's a really yeah. existential crisis I go through every time I look at mm -hmm. a bike and fit too big a tire in everything I ride. But yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't get on board with this side view. Like, like I personally would never be excited to go ride this because in my head the whole time, and this is just not the way to to do anything. But I'd be like, man, this thing is just lame. <laughs> what, I, what about I mean, what about this with that sun tour fork that's straight plated mm. it's thicker that would like i think it would look like, better with the sun tour better fork. I feel, yeah i feel like the, better. this unicrown fork it just looks anemic it doesn't fit with the rest of the bike it's like oh let's there's some spare like surly ogre forks let's, <laughs> let's buy those <laughs> they're like no Pennies on the dollar right now. Let's just get them. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't match like the the sculpting of the rest of the frame. It's it's, it's a like, hydroformed alloy frame with the 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 chromoly fork. It's never going to look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I guess like maybe a carbon fork with it would look better, but definitely drive up the price. Um, because this yeah, is fairly or, inexpensive, correct? Like this is like 
How much six, was it? Seven hundred. Seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred. Yeah. So I mean, it's not it's not terrible in terms of price. Right. Um. I, I think maybe a little bit more than a, a surly frame or or par. Mm-hmm. I think uh, a midnight special. I want to say is which doesn't have the same clearance granted, but I think a midnight special is a thousand. Oh dang! Really? I, okay. th- I think I could be wrong. Yeah. I could be wrong. We have the we have the capability for you to search that or me. Uh, here, That's I'll true. go. I'll, I'll do it in the background. Um, I just you know, like you could get a crust a crust bike for for not much more than than this, right. and um, you know, you'd, you'd be cool on the gram. So, right. <laughs> oh, just <laughs> kidding. Certainly uh, uh, midnight. Certainly right midnight special frame set chromo frame and fork six fifty. So this only okay. getting $50 more with an alloy frame and more capacity, you know, you're in line. Yeah. I like it built up more as a mountain bike. Like that, that picture of it built up as a mountain bike is more my speed. Yeah. yeah I don't know. I don't know about this white fork. It's this midnight okay, special well, fork. Any, anything <laughs> can be, anything can be painted. I know. Anything I know. can be blacked. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. So Yes. Um, that I guess that was the last of the the new new there. Um, we have one more. Oh yeah, do we? Which one? The moots. Oh, the moots. Okay, let's talk about the moots. Um, yeah. If uh, if under seven hundred was too inexpensive for you, you can solve the problem. (laughs) (laughs) So moots expanding their Route Forty Five with something that will clear a 50 millimeter tire. So should they yes. rename? Um, one thing that's interesting is like, I remember chatting with a guy from Moots uh, at Sea Otter and, you know, I asked them, why don't you just go 650B as the tires get wider? And they were like really hard set on like, no, for, for mm-hmm. whatever reason. Um, I mean, which is fine if, you know, you're like a taller rider, but I think, you know, once the tires get this big, you start kind of compromising the front end. So yeah, but that's just so their um, their whole thing that they they did this because supposedly via, via their video that they explained it is because of the gravel specific uh, front derailers. Mm. Not because of one by because of the because they obviously could have done this a long time ago, um, <laughs> but because of access wide and GRX that okay it's spaced out farther. So now they can now. They can accommodate a 50 mil. Hmm. I think they were just late to the game and making stuff up. <laughs> hey, you know what? You you can call them out. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna speak to their PR video so that like, I can get a movie to review. But you know what? Like, do you, Russ? Like, <laughs> no. Yeah, but that's, that's that. literally. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say they're, they had a, a, a curmudgeon designer. It's like, nah, 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 it's too big. And then. <laughs> You know, they saw everyone else doing yeah. 50 and they're like, okay, it's a derailleur. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but that, I think, I think that was it. I think, I think it's, it's a culmination of like when I built my steel, like what I used to call the gravel bike, it's not an all road mm-hmm. bike. It's like, it's just because it wasn't a thing yet. And I, I get that, but for them, because they're a bespoke designer, it's like, I don't understand what the, the holdup was when it's like, right. You don't need to do that. Right. Um, I get it for the fork because that's carbon and they can't, you know, they're not making that yeah, in house. Yeah. Um, so I think I, I, I read somewhere they, they have these uh, guys 3D printed. Yes. Right. In titanium. They're, they're yeah. Out. Yeah. Which is pretty rad. I wonder, I wonder how much that costs and how long that takes. <laughs> uh, yeah. A long time. No, I, I, bet I, I bet it's quicker than you think. I bet they could probably pump out anywhere like from like, No, I, I would say more than that. I would yeah. expect. Yeah. What? The the one that's the one I'm I'm is that the one with the the last yeah. one in the back? Okay, that's yeah. the one I'm actually curious about. Cuz like Yeah, this is the one I I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd love to to throw a leg over. So how does this one oh, sure. how, So it's supposed to be a, they they call it their soft tail. So it's I don't know what the travel is offhand, but essentially just like the top stone where they make like the seat stays really thin, it's supposed to naturally like the bottom of the bike is supposed to flex. Mm-hmm. So it Great. allows more flex in, in the top section for that to like articulate. Um, hmm. 
I don't like I said I don't remember offhand what their soft they call it their soft tail essentially. Um, is I think it tunable? Or is it in, no, in no, no. It's it's just set. It's just set. Okay. Um, right. I think that's a cool idea. I really do because I think it's a it's a very simple mechanical solution. I like the top stones version because just two bearings essentially. Um, but mm -hmm. you have to do that in carbon. I think this is a very interesting solution for steel or titanium because it can it should work for both. Um, but the only thing that I read on the top stone because I haven't written it myself is everyone who rode the first one said the front end's too stiff because it doesn't oh. have it doesn't have the same compliance as the rear. Right. So that's where like like a red shift or something like that. Mm -hmm. would work really well with something like this where you're getting similar compliance front and rear to where the bike feels more cohesive. You know, if you got right. 20, 30 mil on either side, it's going to flow where if you have mm -hmm. like 20 mil on the rear and nothing in the front, you're going to be bouncing around on the front and, and really supple in the rear or vice versa. You know, so I, I, yeah. I think it needs both. Yeah. Yeah. And these frame sets only start at 4,700 bucks. Yeah. So wow. Yeah. Wow. A steal. And, and if and, and if you can afford <laughs> that, uh, you can afford to support the channel. Uh, really? We don't have any merch yet, but be ready for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're gonna have those uh, those uh, ACN slash spin that sunglasses real soon. It'll be, it'll be yeah. titanium yeah. colored. Yeah. It won't be out. It won't be out of titanium, but it'll be it'll look like titanium. Yeah, so right. <laughs> I think I, I think I am gonna make a a sticker that says gravel specific though. <laughs> that would that would be great. Yeah. That would be really good. Uh, it's going to be so good. Um, yeah. Well, while we're here, I'm going to talk about one last thing that caught my eye. Uh, and it's this stuff. Yes. Um, so, you know, we know Josh from Silka, really smart guy. And he came out with this thing. And it's a hot, like a hot wax thing where it's these pellets that are in this uh, sous vide bag. So sous vide's a form of cooking where you, you know, put things in a hot water bath, brings things up to temperature, blah, 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 blah. So anyways, it's reusable. You, you put this uh, secret chain blend in a hot water bath. It liquefies it to some extent. I'm not sure how much. And then you dip your chain in there and then uh, shake it around a little bit and then pull it out. And then your chain is waxed and lubricated and supposedly good for a couple hundred miles um, and offers some, some marginal gains. Here's some science here if you want the science but uh <laughs> i try i trust that graph yeah, yeah. Well, oh, oh, obviously the colors look good like blue i want to yeah. be blue is that is that right. if i get the chain lube do i get blue like yeah. the dark blue not the light blue rust the dark blue yeah well i don't know which one's okay. good the orange or the blue Wait, so I don't, <laughs> what, what are you supposed to tell us you're supposed to say it what is it do I want orange um, or do I want blue or purple? Is that purple? I oh, know it's not purple. I guess you want less yeah. friction, so probably the smaller graph. Okay. So, I don't, so one uh, of the two, either the either either the orange or the blue is good. Okay, good. Not, oh, perfect. <laughs> Look at this, like great. Awesome. Yeah. So here's here's yeah, an interesting. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna pull one out of his shirt, just like uh, here's the the blue card, the blue like yeah, you get the I red do, pill or the blue <laughs> pill. We think of this gravel specific shirt. It's actually a vlogging specific shirt because you can put like a whole camera in here. Okay, um, Russ, seriously, what is what is that shirt? I swear to God, like, what is that shirt? It's a it's a fly fishing shirt by Patagonia. These are like my go to for really? cycling. Yeah, seriously, when I, I when I ride when I do a piece to camera, I usually have the camera here. And I'll just pull it out you, while I'm writing, blah, 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 and then toss it back in here. You you and don't either, get like the you don't get any condensation or sweat on the lens when yeah, you, you do. you're doing that? You do. A little bit, but I mean that's yeah, what you just wipe, you just wipe is it, it off. Is, is there is there a microfiber like right here? Because that's what they need. Like, there, that's, there's it's got like a mesh uh, <laughs> breathable thing and other things. Okay. okay. So I'm into uh, it. Yeah. No. This yeah. is the 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 vlogging specific shirt by by Patagonia. <laughs> man, they need to rebrand. Oh man. <laughs> but here's the thing, like I, I hate like I tried a, a club ride um you know mountain bike flannel which 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 I actually like, but their pockets are too damn small. Like who makes a right. cycling specific yeah. shirt these days that can't fit the phone, you know? <laughs> right. No, no, for sure. That that's the thing. Everything I've tried, nothing. It's you have to yeah. wear a, a mountain bike like bib like on uh, like liner to, to get your phone in there because your, your pockets are too small or everything's going to fall out. No, I, I totally get it. Yeah. I mean, if you can't 
bring your phone to Graham on your whatever gravel specific clothing. It doesn't work. You've, you, <laughs> yeah, you've heard it here first. Your right, yeah. phones are too big. Well, this, it's, wait, this, if is, this is America, Eric. Okay, we get the the new iPhones. I'm just saying, this okay, is like, is. like this is this is my phone. It's an iPhone. It's, it's small. <laughs> Four, five. It's an five, SE. Four. It's like an older SE. Okay, it's, 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 okay, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's. See, I used to wear I used to wear girl know. pants. Um, ah, and ah, so you need a smaller phone. You yeah. had to have <laughs> yeah. Hot Topic yeah. only allowed you to wear the, yeah, the SE. Well, at, I mean, the most, girl yeah. pant pockets are like this deep, and you're like, well, yeah. you're walking around with your pocket, like your phone's like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> living living you on could the see, edge. You could see all your texts, like, while you're walking <laughs> yeah. through. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the feature, like, smart pocket. Edit, <laughs> edit. No, it's not. It's not. Not if you're, yeah. <laughs> well, There's just, notification pocket. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I remember when guy pants came out in in closer fitting uh fit and realizing again what it's like to have a real pocket yeah <laughs> and i couldn't see my notifications and i stopped messaging people back <laughs> nice this is so acm yeah. therapy um, yeah. right, minute two all right so thank you and welcome to everybody who's still here <laughs> yeah. so we've got 100 people in the youtube chat all right, oh. all right or thoughts about gravel specific. You've got three gravel specific gurus right now. Yeah, so ask away. Yeah. And if you like this content, don't, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps with all the, the views and all that stuff. And let's, let us know where you're, where you're watching from. Uh, and we got some really good questions on the way. Yeah. Next week, blogging specific where I like that. <laughs> uh, well, it's funny that you bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's next week. That's next week. I, I literally might have gotten a box of like <laughs> casual wear that's cycling specific. What? Maybe I don't know. You have to do unboxing now. You can't. You can't. You can't. I know. I that. can't. I can't. I know. I can't. Literally, the box is in my car because I was trying to like get ready for this. So like that's that's <laughs> literally. <laughs> I would go grab it like I did the other week when I grabbed my shoes. But yeah, Hollywood, I, Motown. Huh. I like that music. Australia, uh, Michigan. Mitch, Mitch, Lewis, but ser seriously, we still need some like like pop punk band to like make an intro song somewhere. Yeah, got India in the house, Philippines, Sa wow. Santiago, okay. Chile. This All is right. a global audience. Yeah, it's like a yeah, but, global but, but alternative. <laughs> Alter no, say it right, Eric. <laughs> the global alternative cycling network. Where's the? I was gonna oh, say community. Oh, there. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh costa rica nice akron country. ohio east, east texas i've got all over people from many places alternatively cycling which is pretty cool mm. western illinois um okay so this question comes up a lot gravel specific so i'll pop it up here any cheap tires you really like he's talking less than 60 dollars for the set that's kind of that's you know tough. yeah that's hard if it it, it if uh, I can't ask, well, I don't know if he's going to ask, but uh, is it if it's not tubeless, that's doable. If it's tubeless, it's probably really going to be hard, and depending yeah. on the tire size. Yeah, this this almost there was a time where I would have been able to answer this better, and it's mm -hmm. almost like like since my life has gotten financially easier, I've been able to to like look at better tire options. And I've kind of like forgotten all of the, the very frugal things that I would have purchased in the past. But yeah. There's like, a... like these like tires come up, like the beauty of tires is like, if you go to any shop or any um, like any online store, they're always having tire sales. Um, and if you're not picky, like if you're, if you're not going to do something stupid, like I did, like purposely go out of your way to buy direct from Pan Eraser to get, you know, gravel Kings in a certain color, um, in a green, yeah. in a green yeah. to like, you know, that, that was expensive to do. But like, if you're like, well, I know that I like, you know, the specs of a tire, um, and, and that the width of it is, is good. Like most treads are not bad. Mm -hmm. Um, 
you know, you can get a set of tires for less than 60, I mean, 60 American dollars, you can get pretty much anything for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so th this is what I'd recommend that this just popped up in my head. Uh, I actually rode these a couple years ago and they're the resist aren't, nomad tire. Aren't those and the BMX tires? Uh, maybe, but they come in 700 by 45. Oh, maybe wow. not. All right. And they've got actually a pretty supple sidewall from what I recall. And this is like, if you want a, like a cheap version of the WTB uh, Horizons, this would be it. And this would set you back full MSRP, $24, you know, 50 for the pair. Um, and pretty interesting option. So yeah. you can see someone, someone getting rad here. And they, they rolled pretty quickly. I think the biggest issue was <laughs> there was some, sometimes some QC. Sorry, Eric was taking pictures of those because yeah, well, I'm gonna buy a set now. <laughs> I can just send you the link. This no, is, we don't need know, to be no, getting into that. that kind that's of that's too much tech. His iPhone SE yeah. can't handle that much internet at once. Okay, yeah. like just gotta let him let him take a picture. <laughs> I think the uh, Pan Pan Racer Pacellas, uh, they used to at least in the 38 millimeter uh, used to come in around that twenty five dollars a tire or two. Yeah, that's but not right. all. Yeah. You know, that that was like a pretty good good all rounder. Yeah. Um, but they're like a thirty eight like where we've been saying they that's a little small now. Like that's it, it yeah. is small. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. you know. But, yeah. Uh, uh WTB Nano is going for thirty four dollars yeah. each. Right. Love those tires. That's, yeah. That's what I mean, right? Like like no matter what it is, like if if you look around enough, you can pretty well find any of the mm -hmm. like the key players for a, a decent price. You just need to look. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I rode, I rode the Nanos for Cross for like two years. They were great. Uh, Panracer has like a pile of really affordable tires. I agree with this. The Fire yeah. Cross and like like any of them. Like the, It's funny for them to be, in, in my opinion, because they make, they make the, I mean, I'm going to say Compass, but they're Rene, 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 yeah. Rene, yeah, Rene yeah. Rene They yeah. make theirs. And they make... Yeah. Uh, Ultra, Simworks. ultra dynamic, yeah, and Simworks's tires, like, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, don't be afraid to buy anything from Panracer, pretty much. Like, even yeah. their their yeah. cheapest stuff is like, you know, it's a nice, um, I'm gonna say flexi rubber because I don't like the word supple anymore, just because. What? <laughs> <laughs> nice flexible like, rubber. He's like, he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna describe from this channel. It's called Spindat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let me get flexible that. tire there. I subscribe. I subscribe. Oh, he's gonna show it. He's gonna show him unsubscribing. Oh, no. oh God. where is that, no, that guy? I'm where never is, gonna. Where is that guy? Oh God. I'm never gonna recover financially from this. <laughs> okay, Eric. I'm I'm taking my half a cent back. Damn it. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh, I'm just. Uh, I, just, I wish I could. <laughs> I wish I could share my screen and just do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I resubscribed. Honestly, I did. Thank, I didn't like. Totally. <laughs> yeah. no, oh, this you. is so good. Uh, yeah. This is what life's all about, people. This is what you. This is what you. <laughs> well, eventually, pay for. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> good, good, flexible tire. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So anything like is there any other gravel specific gear that you thought was just like total total BS like gravel shoes is that something that's necessary or gravel mm. shorts gravel chamois um, I, I so I agree with so so gravel I did a review on the Giro cylinder like MTB shoes which I in the title call the gravel shoe the reason why is cuz it was their budget shoe so it had more flex into it because for gravel, depending on where you're riding, like I've walked all day in those shoes. I've hiked a lot in those shoes. Way more comfortable than like a super stiff sole MDB XC race shoe. Mm -hmm. So I understand that in the sense of what are you going to use it for? If I was going to go bike camp and just do like a turnaround or a weekend trip, I probably would not bring. I, I maybe would bring a set of sandals. Maybe. I'm going to where I'm going. But realistically, like those things are comfortable to like walk around in. So like not having to carry another set of shoes would be nice. So yeah. 
I consider that like not gravel specific, but like it fits a niche for me, like gravel or bike camping. And you don't want to brand it either way, but I think gravel is mm -hmm. kind of all encompassing. So for me, right. it's like, all right, well, here's a shoe that if I'm going to, for me, like in California, like I could go camp in Catalina. I can go ride to the store, go get stuff, walk around in they they're comfortable. And then I can go like go rip a trail and I'm fine. So I think there's certain things like that, that work, make sense. A XC like mountain Jersey that essentially is just a mountain Jersey, just slimmer cut. Like don't call that gravel. Like, just it's a mountain jersey you know so yeah <laughs> baby heads are gravel sick <laughs> i'm not okay with that comment at all <laughs> i hate it <laughs> kendrick hop <Hoppin. laughs> god damn it <laughs> okay wait do, do we need a, a, a shirt that says that like gravel specific wait say sorry gravel specific kinder coppins what is it right because <laughs> unless you, yeah, you show it on the screen i can't read it i can't read it uh, we're you go uh, can the baby <laughs> baby heads are yeah are no, no 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 that what's the the translation that you had can, can oh, yeah, yeah. are gravel specific okay kinder so yeah. yeah so if we did that on a t-shirt that <laughs> i wouldn't <laughs> buy it <laughs> um 10 so of all shirt sales go to baby heads uh yeah yeah so this is a sentiment that gets bad around a lot gravel is a, a people's thing and companies are starting to F it up. Um, would you guys agree with that? Yeah. Yeah, but I think they can only go so far with it. Like, you know, I, I think, well, maybe, Jesus. Um, <laughs> like, how, what, what isn't more fun than, like, just picking a gravel road that you, you know, you're in, like, a, you know, a pair of jeans. Like, I ride in jeans all the time. Like, jeans and a whatever shirt. And, uh, you know, you just start kind of, like, bombing around trying not to hit potholes like mm -hmm. even I don't, I don't care if you're riding like 10 kilometers or you're you are doing like a wild ride um you know there's only so much that that companies can do to take away from that same with mountain biking like mountain biking mm -hmm. is has this like kind of childlike freedom to it it's hard to to make all of it very commercialized and and marketed and there'll always be like these segments of it that stays the people's part right yeah i think it depends on the company yep i think some some not market well i don't think is the right word but like like they they show like this is the the more accessible side of cycling, I think. Like, you can get there eventually. Yeah. If it takes you a day or two days, like, you can get there. Yeah. Um, I think that's really where it's more of the accessible side of it is like, you don't need the lightest weight stuff. And that's what I really want to work on. And then what I'm working on is like a weekend trip. Like, this is what you mm -hmm. need for a weekend trip. It doesn't have to be like extravagant. Take your bike. Here's the stuff like if you want to make it comfortable, like you can get these things. Here's the things and why it might be better for you based on my experience. Do a short trip. Go to your campsite that's 10, 20 miles away. Don't do anything crazy, but mm -hmm. go enjoy that first and then go like elaborate on those things that you don't enjoy. Let's let's say on those mm -hmm. kind of trips that you want to invest in. Like for me, I just invested in like a thicker sleeping pad because i was like oh it doesn't it, it can't matter that much but a three inch <laughs> to a four inch sleeping pad holy oh, oh my god it is amazing that's a, that's a I bed that's not a sleeping i pad. slept <laughs> i slept so well it was worth the 99 dollars on amazon and it was worth the one inch thickness because like i slept not like i was at home but it was great and it was totally worth it i it was yeah it and it wasn't even a name brand super crazy expensive one it was just mm -hmm. i didn't understand it to where i just i bought it and i was like let me just see if this is worth it and i slept so much better totally agree i mean i think um you know to the the op's comment that you know some aspect of of gravel will always be you know for the people yeah. but 
I do fully expect a, a bunch of products to roll out, which will induce eye rolling, you know? <laughs> yeah. That'll be like, come on. Like, you know, gravel specific, oh. you know, uh, I don't know, sealant or. Also, we need, we, need con- <laughs> we need content. So, I mean, yeah. hey, we're not like, we can't complain. That's true. Who, who are we complaining? Yeah. Gravel specific. That's right. Everything. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Let's get it, guys. Gra- we're gravel. Gonna tell you the real, we're going to tell you what's really gravel specific. Yeah. <laughs> what's the, do you guys have any sense of what's been the most absurd gravel specific thing? Aside from the the sunglasses, the kind of came out to market. Okay. my mind immediately went to the sandals. I can't picture riding in sandals, and I know you guys have. Um, no, I have. What? Hey, you've, n- you've not? Hey, okay, I have. but but Russ, no. you have. Um, I have. It's it's very freeing. It's like yeah. riding without a helmet. Oh, <laughs> I, like, see, I I'd be quicker to ride without a helmet than I would to ride in sandals. Just because where where we do end up riding any sort of like long, long distance gravel, there are these like, there's like these big rocks. I don't know how to really like describe the size (laughs) of them. Um, And like the, like hearing them hit your down tube when like you hit them just right. And then like it knocks the top of the like plastic or the toe Mm -hmm. of the plastic of your shoe. And like you hear Mm -hmm. it like go into the ditch. You're like, man. That wait, did, wait, sucks. wait, does Eric, does it go, does it go, wah, is that, is that, no. is that, is that, is that, is that? Okay. it goes, okay. it goes clink, katunk. Okay. Oh, okay. I was, uh, ah! Like, no. it sure doesn't make any of those kind of noises. <laughs> I, uh, just, if it was the size of the, the, say the head of some small mammal. Like. <laughs> yeah, like any small mammal. <laughs> <laughs> but to answer this comment, <laughs> yes, uh, I think I'm going to change the banner on our on the on the ACN site and have gravel it say specific. "gravel I specific." Never... <laughs> I thought yeah. I thought you were going to say "baby head specific." That's yeah. what I thought you were going to say. There's gravel only specific. Yes, uh, right. Uh, yeah, I like that. How about the stem cap that says gravel specific? Oh, so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> not, 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 not a bad idea. Yeah. The that's, other that's, Michael. You know what? This is how we're going to make our millions, guys. Michael's yeah. Unite. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so where are we at? We're at an hour and seven minutes. It's still 99 people in the room. Thanks for uh, joining us this long. Hopefully you guys have uh, pulled out some some value from here. Uh, any any last last words, guys? Gravel Crocs. Gravel oh Crocs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or should I should I try to go back in the and find questions to answer? No. Uh, <laughs> dinosaur warning. eggs. There you go. Yeah. Wait, warning. <laughs> wait, Sean. Uh, warning. Here be <laughs> baby heads. Yeah. <laughs> Gravel Civic Draft Beer. That that's pretty good. Yeah. Nice. Uh, is there a gravel specific helmet and why? Hmm. I don't know what what would the gravel specific helmet be like. I would. I guess I would assume that it would just be a, a like a something between a road and a mountain bike helmet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like I, I mean, there are there are the people like me who who say I'm out. Like here I am out gravel riding, and I'm doing something dumb like bringing a bike with drop bars and a bigger tire to like single track. And that to me is not truly gravel riding. That's like, that's under biking. Um, right. Someone brought that up here and I'm like, yes. Um, but like when you do like these, then there's like the crazy long tours that are like off road where like, yes, you do end up on some like wild roads that like, you got to hike a little bit. That to me is gravel riding. Um, and I like that. I like to mix both. Like I, it, to to me, that's like the perfect uh, outing on a drop bar bike with like a bigger tire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. Like, so maybe, maybe for like that kind of riding, if that's what we're going to define gravel riding, maybe there should be a helmet for that. Um, but like, if you're just spending, if you're spending most of your time on like old dirt farm roads, then it's like, well, just wear a road helmet. Like, it's fine. Like, it's totally fine. You don't need a gravel-specific helmet. I don't know. 
I, I think <laughs> bigger head clearance. That's good. Uh, yeah. No, I think I think it should actually. I should. I think it actually should be more vented because you're going slower uh, and potentially you're be out of, out of anywhere. Like you, you could be in the desert. You could be anywhere. It's going to need more venting. Maybe, uh, maybe it's got a, a built-in USB chargeable fan. Oh, sure. Is what, uh, or, is what ooh, the trend solar, is. <laughs> solar aero panel on the back. You know, right. idea. Like, whatever, like that, that could be very it, much it, but I think, I think it needs more mm. venting than anything else. Like I sweat a ton. So yeah. I think that like, I, I wear like a, a specialized prevail cause it breathes so well. It, it, no matter what I'm riding me just because of the airflow. So if you're going 10 miles an hour or 40 miles an hour, like it's going to breathe well. And yeah. I don't care about the arrow. So I think, for a gravel helmet, it should breathe even better than a climbing helmet <laughs> because, like, potentially, if you're a, a traditional gra gravel rider or bike packer, you're going like four miles an hour, like hoping for the best, and it's 100 degrees <laughs> outside. Like, that's when you should be comfortable. Like, that's if the if it's can be optimized for that. I'm I'm buying that. I'm into what, it. What if it had those? You know, there's those uh, things like the the neck things that you that. That have some kind of coolant gel in them that you pre cool in like a refrigerator and it stays cool for hours. So if there was like a hot head insert or something. Oh, if they if they made like <laughs> if they made if they made the insert the whole thing like an ice pack, yeah, I would you be hundred percent. I, I get on board with that. Yeah. Hundred <laughs> percent oh, yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if it was just like a bladder that you could put like some some icy from Seven Eleven and drink as oh, you're riding. Oh <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, the little uh, like a bleed valve right into my mouth. Like, yeah, like yeah. A, a, well, <laughs> let's yeah, do that. Yeah. Let's do that. I'm, it's, Kick, it's, Kickstarter. Okay. Yeah, Kickstarter. All right, well, <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Save your doll hairs. Uh, we're going to be on Kickstarter really very soon. Right. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm going to take it home. Uh, thanks again, everyone, for joining us this evening. There's been you know over a hundred of you guys, which is pretty awesome for for the size of the channel. Uh, I'm assuming that most of you. Have subscribed already but if you haven't hit that subscribe button uh tell your friends every every thursday evening there's uh buffoonery uh baby head jokes uh <laughs> lots of good clean fun the cleanest fun well, <laughs> the cleanest, the cleanest fun. travel fun if you love or hate babies you'll you'll yeah. find humor here yeah and you also yeah. get to hear about what's trending like three weeks ahead, ahead of gtn so right. if you True. Yeah. If you have your finger on the pulse or want your finger on the pulse, uh, be sure to subscribe, tell your friends, all that good stuff. And as always, see you guys next week. See ya.